The 6.5 is on the road in Las Vegas at HP Amplify 2024. It's been an incredible conference. It's been really the intersection of hybrid work uh, and AI, not to mention the star-studded uh, keynote speech where literally the entire processor, a call, what do, you, what do you call Microsoft and Google? I mean, it's not just operating systems, it's services, it's, it's Two of cloud. the magnificent seven. There we go, exactly. Yeah, it was a really great start today, and uh, Pat, you know, we knew the AIPC was going to be in focus. It's just the trend line. You know how I said 23 was the year of the GPU. We both have said that in different iterations. And then of course, 24, I think you got on stage at the CES event with the whole vendor ecosystem and said, this will be the year of the AIPC. And I think we're seeing different uh, maturation charts of how quickly that will happen. But what we do know for sure is that these new form factors powered by AI, you know, new silicon, that you and I love to talk about. It's changing the world, but in, in the end, all that silicon has to be put to work. Exactly. And that's what this has been focused, hybrid work, AI, and driving the future of experiences. Yeah, and the promise is that AI on the work side is going to make us more productive, uh, maybe even more creative, and maybe even more effective. Yeah, we, you know, we want to get productive, we want to get efficient, and of course, I think it was Satya that made the comment about getting creative, and Pat, I mean, we can paint pictures and write stories now with the click of a button. Right. Now hopefully this stuff is really, really good, but that's why getting on device, LLMs, putting all the data to work, that's a great opportunity, Pat. But uh, AI is going to transform the world, but you know what, you and I are talking a lot. Hey now, let's bring in our guest, Wayante, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you for inviting me. Yes, you've got such a big job, you run all of commercial systems and displays. I mean, all this talk, you know, it's easy for analysts to sit up here and talk about what could be you're actually making this happen. Yeah, and this is one of uh, the best moments in my career, to be in this moment, unique moment, transforming the way people work. I know, when's the last time we saw uh, software and exper uh, software transforming uh, the, the hardware? And I know, listen, we talked a lot about services here, and. But you know, to bring a solution, you have to have the hardware, software, and the services. It is such an exciting time. It I is. agree with you. It is, the full, as you saw this morning, yeah. the full ecosystem is transforming. Yes. Well, let's talk about, I don't know, AI. <laughs> <laughs> to change the subject. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, I feel like it hasn't been covered. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Look, this is the most transformative trend that probably the world has ever seen. I mean, and it's only going to continue to accelerate and AI has this big kind of future of work vision. Yeah. But I would love to kind of understand, you know, in your role, how you see AI shaping that, accelerating that, changing that, and really building a future ready workforce. So, so let me tell you, I do really believe that the nature of work is changing dramatically. Not only because we have not even completely solved the hybrid, so still we are solving how to work remotely and in the room well, so still we have not, and now we have AI. And AI is going to transform like the task, how we operate, and it's going to help us remove those tasks that we call unproductive. So things you do that are unproductive, summarize like the meeting today. Yes. Like things that are gonna be, is gonna help us do things better, to be more productive. I'm already doing this, I can do it better. And as you were saying, it will give anyone superpowers. So it will be people, capacity to do things, like as you were mentioning before, create an image that you could not, create a concept that you could not before. And even myself speaking any language. Right, and by the way, you're speaking that different language phenomenally. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank you. Uh, on stage today, and, and you introduced, a, you fielded a very large research program. We both do research, but I think it was in the tens of thousands of people 50, thousand. uh, that, that you contact. And I want to make sure I get these numbers right. 27% said that today's knowledge workers have a healthy relationship with work, okay? Which is seems super low, and only 26% of those same respondents said they have the right tools and equipment to be successful. So I have to put you on the spot here. Like, is AI going to help fix these things? Or, did, you know, it seems like it would take a combination of technology and, you know, some culture and management tools to do this. 
I, th I, I do think like uh, not only AI, but I think if we look at uh, what HP and the solutions that we're going to be bringing together, how they are going to be helping on this better tool set, it is we're going to be creating tool sets that are better for the hybrid work. So all the audio and video collaboration is going to be enhanced from the PC to the room. I think all the AI tools are going to help every user to be more productive and be more creative. Okay, so no doubt that for starting from the software to the hardware, you're going to have people that are going to be more productive. But aside from this, we're going to help many data scientists in every single company to be able to create their own models so that they can be internally more efficient. Oh, that's great. So, first of all, it sounds like the relationship that employees have with work is complicated. <laughs> um, it's complicated. And I think there's a lot of good habits and a lot of technology that was accelerated as a byproduct of the you know past five years, the health crisis that went on. I also think there was probably some bad habits. You know, people got a little too, and then you see that's why this kind of pendulum swinging of returning to work. I think data can solve a lot of this, but like, you know, I think I said this is the year of the AI PC, right? So while you said the trend may not happen as fast as some are proclaiming, and I think that echoes Enrique, that in, uh, echoes what we have heard from Alex Cho and others, it is happening. What are you most excited about with it? So let me tell you, what I'm more excited about is AI in general, not only for the IPC, AI is a journey and it's a personal journey. This means every one of us, every company is going to go through this journey in different ways. So I think that I, I think is how, how really I see it. The second thing I can tell you is that I see this year and with the, what we are launching here at the event, AI starts today. If you are a company and you are not starting AI today with a tool, with a hardware, with a software, you're going to be left behind. Those companies that implement today AI are going to be like a more advanced, more productive, with happier people, you know, like that, those that don't use it. Yeah, I love that answer and it really echoes, I think, what we saw uh, with internet, mobile, local, social, e-commerce. There, there were uh, people who got in early, but if you weren't, um, you know, if you were a laggard, you really risked uh, your business. I think we saw a lot of business who, you know, hey, I'm, I'm only going to stick with catalog, printed catalogs, or and they didn't go online, or I'm not going to transact actual business online, right? A lot of them were left behind, and it sounds like you're talking about this could be a scenario where if they don't embrace uh, uh, AI solutions, they could left be left behind as well. I'm to, like, I, I really, really see it. And again, it's a journey. So this doesn't mean that tomorrow 100% of the employees, 100% of the companies sure. across the globe need to jump. It's a journey and need to start. What I think is very important is the start. And to really look at your industry and what personas, like you are in the health industry, which are the type of employees do you have? What personas? What are the use cases? Right. Like what are the things that they are doing that are unproductive? How can you make them better? Or the things that you can make them more creative? Analyzing this, this is the journey, and it starts, as I say, today. Yeah, and it sounds like it's going to be a symbiotic relationship between companies like HP, uh, your channel partners, and I don't know, do analysts play a part in the stand? <laughs> I think we do. You do. Well, we do the research, we tell the market what they're supposed to think, and then sometimes, <laughs> and sometimes, you know, with the backing of the data and the opinion and the credibility of getting things right, which we do at times. Often, yeah. Um, yes, we do play a part. I, I think you do. I think like <laughs> in, in this industry today, it's going to be very important to right. understand the persona and educate. There are a lot of things that are happening, so not everybody understands why they have to use AI. No, like and as I told you, it's for the three tasks. No, like uh, and productive, productive and, and creative. But why an AI PC? Right. Well, you need to understand why first the AI. Second, why an AI PC? Because as you were saying before. You can do things locally that are faster. If we, I was speaking in Spanish now, the instant translation will take three seconds, so you will see me like like right. with different. So it's faster. It may, it may you may like it may be more personal and will be cheaper or spend less energy. That's the IPC. So we need to educate, you no, know, like the why AI, why IPC, and then of course why HP. And I'll give you a bonus um, on, <laughs> on the way out, Twente, as. Uh, 
It'll be more secure. The data you have on the device I, is your I data. To tell you, I totally, I, you learn I'm it. just <laughs> saying, so I give you a bonus for, but absolutely, yes, it's been yes. amazing to have the chance to sit down with you here and talk to you. Nice to meet you, and let's have you back on the 6.5 soon. Whenever you want. Love to see that. Let's put it on the calendar next year, okay? Okay, <laughs> done. <laughs> we'll see you next year. All right, everyone, thanks so much for tuning into this episode here at HP Amplify 2024. Hit subscribe, join us for all of the episodes. We covered a lot of ground here at the event. But for this episode, for Patrick Moore and myself, it's time to say goodbye. See you all later.